Welcome back to Nurse Catherine here guys. Welcome back to an Educational Tuesday video. Today we are continuing with part three of this four week burn series I am going over with you all. In week one, we talked about body surface area percentages and how to figure that out. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check that out. In week two, we talked about the Parkland burn formula, but today's video is a little bit different and a little bit of a demonstration because I am using garlic as a way to show you what first and second degree burns are like. You're probably like, what in the world? How is garlic related to our skin for first and second degree burns? And here's how. Almost all of us know what first degree burn is. And as you can see on me, it's right here. I have sunburn. But what would that look like in comparison to second degree burn? What is the difference of the two? Well, using a garlic and a lighter, let's see what that looks like. So here we have our garlic and you can see there is an outer layer right here and that would be our skin. That's what's mimicking the skin. So now what do we do when we take a flame and put it to there? You can see that it gets crispy just like our skin would. So when we burned garlic here, you can see there's no blistering on here at all. This would be painful, of course, if it was somebody's body and you might even have some redness. But a big factor is that there is absolutely no blistering that happened to the outside piece of this garlic. Now let's talk about second degree burn. So we just went over that first degree burn is just the outside layer, but second degree burn, you have two types. You can have a superficial second degree burn or a deep thickness second degree burn. And here's the difference. So type one of your second degree burn is that superficial burn, or it could also be called superficial partial thickness burn. I know that's a mouthful, but here's what it is. This burn damages the top two layers of your skin, which are also called the epidermis and dermis. Epi is above, dermis is below. So epidermis is up here, dermis is down here. With this superficial partial thickness second degree burn, which is the first type, the not as bad type, you normally can press it, it's called blanching. So if you press on it, it'll turn white and then when you release your finger, it will turn back to red. The burn will be moist and it will be painful for sure. You will also find blistering and swelling within the first 48 hours after this type of burn. Now let's look what that looks like on a piece of garlic. Okay, so we have our burned garlic here. We see that only the outer layer of this garlic is burned, but what happens when we dig deeper? Think about this garlic as the layers of skin. This is your epidermis. Now we're going to dig into the dermis. This layer of the garlic is representing our epidermis. This layer of the garlic is representing our dermis. So this is that waxy, shiny look that you will see when you burn your skin. So next time you take a garlic and you're peeling it, just think about this with the burn is your first degree right on that area. But when you dig down deeper, you get to this shiny part, which will be your second degree burns. With the deep partial thickness second degree burn, here's what you will find. This burn will go down deeper into the dermis, causing more damage. It actually is not a painful burn compared to the other type of second degree burn that we just talked about. This burn though, when you press down on it, when you press that spot that trying to blanch it to see if it turns back to red, this one will not. It will continue to stay white when you're trying to blanch. It also may appear waxy-like as well. A big factor with these deep partial thickness second degree burns is infection. You want to make sure this burn is clean, it's been taken care of well because it's a big source of infection. I hope that helped you understand the difference between first and second degree burns. I know is a little bit weird looking at a piece of garlic in comparison to our skin, but that's the best way I could peel back a layer to show you guys 
the difference between the outer layer of skin and then that waxy, shiny layer underneath. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask and just shoot a comment below, or you can always email me at nursecatherinehere at gmail.com. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it helps me get some motivation to keep putting these videos out there. If there are any topics that you would like me to cover, please also shoot that in the comments below. Other than that, stay tuned for Saturday's video, which is a vlog styled video. All right, have a very, very blessed week, guys, and I will see you on Saturday.